Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Blessed be the name of our Savior, our Lord, our Master, our Redeemer, uh, Jesus Christ, the name which is above every name. And the Bible says that on His name, every knee bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Jesus Christ is the Savior. Today, my heart is rejoiced because we are here to worship the living Lord. We are worshiping the living Lord, the only hope of this dying world, the only savior of this world, the only one who can redeem and who redeemed, the only one who is called as a savior. You know, the Bible says that everyone who will believe on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Believe is important. Believe have a great value in our faith. Believing on the right God is valuable. Believing on a God who is true. Believing on someone who is alive. You know, this statement I usually give to people that a dead can only give you death. You know, if you're following the dead gods, they will give you death. But here is someone who is alive. And he can give you life because he is alive. And that is why I urge you today to make a good decision for your life. And I want to give you a scripture today which will bless you, which will encourage you, and which will boost your faith in the real God, in the Christ in whom I believe. I believe in a Christ who died for me 2020 years before. I believe on him that he was crucified for me. I believe on him that he was buried for me. And I believe that today he is alive. He is alive and he is coming back to take me home, to take me in his kingdom, to take me at a place where I will live with him. And today I am here to, to talk to you about if you can believe. And you know, this is one of the statement of my lord in the in, in the gospel of mark which i'm just going to read for you but hear it if you can believe if you can believe no it's not like uh, if you can believe but i'm saying it like if you can believe but in the bible when jesus spoke this dialogue he said if you can believe if you can believe everything is possible for you if you can believe, everything will become possible for you. There is nothing in this entire world which will be left impossible for you. There is nothing in this entire world which will not happen for you. Because the Bible says Jesus and you know whatever comes out of his mouth, it is true and it shall be fulfilled. And he said that everything you will believe will come in existence for you. It will happen for you. And that's what happened in the book of Mark, in the gospel of Mark chapter 9, where this boy came. And he was, the Bible says that he was demon possessed and he was tortured and he was tormented and he was struggling and he was in danger and he was in oppression of the demons. And, and his father was very worried for him. His father was worried for his health. His father was worried for what will happen because this man was a young man and it's, it's very normal in today's time also if there is a young man or a young woman, a young girl, obviously the parents would have got, you know, uh, worried about their children if, if they got if they got demon possessed. So this guy was demon possessed and his father was very, very worried because his son did not only uh, beaten others, but he used to damage his own body. He used to beat himself. And those demons which were inside him were always forcing him, torturing him, tormenting him, beating him. And everyone in the, in, in, in the, in the city knew about this guy. He was in a bad situation. 
he was in a miserable situation and today even there are people alive on the face of earth who are in a miserable position you know there are people right now in our country who are uh, who are struggling or who are suffering because of the natural disasters because of many other things happening and because of coronavirus or because of uh, the things came against them because of their faith in Christ a lot of things are there but here is the thing that does not matter what situations we are in right now we have a savior we have a lord who is more than able but this is what he says that it shall happen for you if you believe if you believe that this can happen for me it shall happen for you and here in mark chapter 9 i'm just going to read this one dialogue for you which is in 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 chapter 9 verse 23 where the bible says that jesus said to him if you can believe all things are possible to him who believes and in the verse 24 the bible says immediately the father of the child cried out and said with tears lord i believe help my unbelief are there some people today who are ready to accept that they are living in unbelief or they are not believing on on a right messiah or they are not following the right god or they are not rightly positioned with god or are there people who are who are just ready to open up their hearts and repent out loud with tears with tears you know these tears express your real inner self that now i'm broken completely and i'm ready to say that lord i cannot make it and i cannot do it with my strength now i need you now i need you more than anything and here the word says immediately the father of the child cried out and said with tears lord i believe help my unbelief when jesus saw the bible says when jesus saw the people came running together he rebuked the unclean spirit saying to it deaf and dumb spirit i command you to come out of him and enter him no more never ever dare to come back you know if there are people today and and this is something very profound i want to tell you right now if you believe if you can believe you know it's more like i'm urging you it's more like that i want you to be encouraged in this if you can believe if you can do something right in your life believe if you want to see miracles happening in your life believe if you want to see the things changed for you believe if you want to oh my god if you want to do anything in your life believe that it is possible and it shall be possible for you so it's all about believe can you type down right now if you're watching me from anywhere in the world believe 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 on christ and that's what he was saying to to the to the father of this young man if you believe do you know that everything is possible for him who believes everything and when he said everything it means every single thing is possible if you believe my 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 wonderful brother uh, and a mighty general of faith pastor bob lenquist is here uh welcome you brother hello to you and shalom from pakistan i love you if you believe today we are talking about something very important and you know it's a dialogue of jesus and when i was reading the scripture it again spoke to me if you can believe now jesus said it like this if you can believe but i'm saying if you can do something right in your life believe believe makes the difference believing on the right things 
makes the difference. Believing on a true God makes the difference. Believing on right Messiah. You know, there are so many Messiahs out there even today who claim to be a Messiah. Who claim to be the savior of this planet. But let me tell you something. The scripture says that many will come after him. Many will come after him proclaiming that they are true. Believe none. Believe on nobody. But everything, this Messiah who performed miracles of all kinds, this Messiah whose name is Jesus, this Messiah who gave eyes to the blind, who made the dead rose again. And you know, this is amazing to me. Every single time you see a miracle happen in somebody's life, it it really happened at the time when it became impossible for people, when it became impossible for doctors, when it became impossible for the surgeons, when it became impossible for the governments to tackle or deal or cope up with. Jesus came up in the picture. Jesus came in midst of those greatest challenges. Even in my life, I've, I am the living witness of it that every single time every single time when i when i felt that now i'm done when i felt that now there is no hope for me to come out of this challenge jesus came jesus saved jesus redeemed and jesus delivered think about that girl who died and everybody was mourning everybody were crying Everybody was worried and, 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 and maybe in, in a kind of a traumatic situation. Oh, the little girl has died. Now what will happen? The Bible says that father went running to, to Christ, to Jesus, requesting that do something about this matter. You know, Jesus came. And at that point when, when this man of the girl came to Christ. This girl was yet alive. But somebody, the Bible says, came behind him and said, don't, don't disturb the master anymore because your girl is in a hopeless situation. Your girl is dead. Your girl just died moments before. Now she can live no more because she is dead. And they never knew that they are standing in front of the one who himself is the Alpha and Omega. They, they might not understood that they are standing in front of somebody who himself is life and resurrection. And Jesus said, take me to her. And you know what? Miracle happened. Miracle happened. People were maybe whispering with each other in, in one another's ear. Hey, Jesus came. What is going to do about it? This girl is already dead. Maybe an hour, two hours, three hours before. Now there is no hope for her. Nothing can happen now. You know, Jesus, the Bible says that when everybody went out of the room, Jesus was there with this girl. And the Bible says when he took her hand, and said, arise. Because first he said, don't worry. Because she's not dead. She's just sleeping. People people maybe did not understand. You know, many times people do not understand when Jesus shows up on the scene and says, hey, listen, it is not possible for your doctor. It is not possible for your surgeon. It's not possible for your scientist so to find a vaccine for coronavirus. It's it, it might seem impossible for you. You, you, seem, you. you think that you are in a dead place. But listen, I am here. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the creator and I am the author. I am the one who is the beginning and the end. I am the one who is life himself. Never think that your uh, possibilities are my possibilities. And your impossibilities are my impossibilities but do know that your impossibilities 
are my possibilities. That's the Jesus I serve. That's the Messiah I follow. That's the one who is my savior. So here is the thing again. If you can, if you can do one good thing for your life, this is a good thing for your life. Believe. I welcome each one of you on this live stream. And I want you to share it, please. Share it with somebody who needs to hear this word. If you can do good thing, believe. That's one good favor you can do on your life. Believe. Believe on this Christ. Believe on Jesus. Believe on Jesus. And he said, Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. And, and you know, people were thinking that there is no hope left for this young gentleman who is demonic, who is oppressed by demons. You know, today, even when, when in our meetings we see people are demon possessed and, and there are people around them, they run away. They think that they are in a hopeless situation or, or maybe the demons will do so wrong to us or something very bad is going to happen. But listen, we serve a God that every air, everything of this entire universe, I'm not just talking about this earth, but I'm talking about entire universe. I'm talking about heavens and earth. I'm talking about everything you think, imagine, or you see. Everything listens to his command and obey. And there is nothing in the world which will not obey this master, this Lord, this savior, this redeemer, this amazing, amazing Jesus. And I want to, you know, just bring this to your knowledge right now because we are in a position like that. Where things seem to be like impossible. But if you believe it's possible and I believe firmly. I believe that today the church is the answer. I believe that today church got to believe. I believe that today church got to un understand and stand on this word. That everything is possible for us. And there is nothing in this entire world which is not possible for us. Everything is possible for us. Even though people are living in a miserable time. Even though we think that in our country and, and in the countries everywhere, things are going bad. But we are here to shine bright like a hope. Even the time when you, you, when you know, you remember that the Bible says that there were 5,000 men, women and children not yet counted in that 5,000 figure. Think about it. If he can feed thousands upon thousands with, you know, a few fishes and a few loaves of bread. What is there in the world that he cannot do for the people right now even? Even though our city, entire city is flooding. Even though there are great floodings in the interior sin. And our teams are out there right now serving people. I was out there serving people. And tomorrow and day after tomorrow, we have ordered more of, of the food supplies and more of the things to come so we can pack them and bring those wonderful blessings to our brothers and sisters who are suffering right now. What makes people think that they are in an impossible situation? Church today is the feet and hand of Christ. Church today, you know, church has been the answer to the prayers. Church is the one. Church is the one. Pastor Jose, I welcome you, my beloved brother. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, please share this broadcast with somebody who needs to hear it. That we are in a time that there is no more time left for us to just talk about the things. But we are here to communicate the gospel and make God's love visible. If you believe, if you can do one thing, believe. And just believe can change the things. This belief can change the situations. This belief can, can, you know, raise a dead. This belief can cast out the demons of COVID-19. This belief can do wonders for you today. 
this belief it's a confidence it is an amazing confidence that even though this world sets apart my lord will reign my lord will stand with me my lord will continue to be with me even if this entire world goes round my lord is still going to be with me i'm still going to serve him i'm still going to be a hope for this dying world because the one who is the hope he is inside me he lives and he dwells in us my dear brothers and sisters it does not matter are you from america or canada or pakistan or india or wherever you are watching me from we got to believe right now we got to believe that jesus is the one we got to believe that jesus is the one who is more than able and this is the message we have for this entire world this is the message we are preaching out loud this is the message which burns inside me this is the message i want to you know just put in every heart that jesus is the hope for you today don't think that your impossibilities are the impossible impossibilities in actual but do know that my god is bigger than your impossibilities and he is more than able to provide you even in wilderness even in the days when when you walking through deserts even in the days when you think that now nothing can happen there is no good left christ is more than able jesus is more than able my friends there are people today in a greatly uh, in a great suffering condition there are people who are seeking desperately for hope and truth for their life there are people who are struggling greatly and they need somebody to share this message of hope with them are we the church who is ready to do it and i want to challenge each one of you our doors are open for anybody and you know this is my heart to build the global friendship more than anything else but you know the greatest greatest aim the greatest desire the greatest joy of my life is to serve my master and is to love him and to serve his people we are to we are called to serve the lord and his people people who he loved people who he gave his life for my friends i urge you today please if the lord if the lord encourages you and puts in your heart donate generously support the ministry or if not anything else just connect with us today connect with us today and i want to hear from you and i would love to share with you this is my heart i said that we want to build the global friendship we want to be the bridge we want to be the hands and feet of christ we want to communicate the gospel we want to communicate the gospel and make jesus famous jesus famous jesus loves pakistan and he loves your country and he loves america and canada and and nigeria and ghana and kenya and and every country every country every country every uh, he loves argentina he loves brazil he loves india he loves bangladesh and sri lanka and dubai and saudi arabia and afghanistan and iran and iraq every country he loves and he loves people he loves people he loves people it's the matter of souls and lives it's the matter of life for him it's all about people my friends it's all about souls my friends it's all about are we ready to believe for souls today hallelujah are we ready to believe that christ is going to save people pakistan ah, my god are you ready to shout it loud with me are you going to say it loud with me or type down here in the comment in the chat box pakistan shall be saved and we are ready to present ourselves we are so willing to present ourselves 
and we are ready to do anything for it. My friends, it is the matter of souls. It is all about Jesus made famous. It's all about him and his kingdom come. I love you with all of my heart, I tell you. And I bless you in Jesus' name. One of the greatest joy for me is to love on you and have your blessings and prayers back. You know, uh, it is well said that how pleasant it is that, that brothers live in union and brothers serve in union. My friends, my brothers and sisters do know that Grace Network and I, your servant and brother in Christ, uh, Danish Peter, loves you and blesses you and I'm praying for you and I care about you. Does not matter where you are or whichever part of the world you are from. Your skin color does not matter to me and so it does not matter to the Christ I serve. Just know that I'm here to pray for you and, and I'm here to bless you in Jesus' name. And let's together see Pakistan saved for the glory of God. And I'm ready to roar like a lion every day and say that Pakistan shall be saved in Jesus' name. So I bless you. Please take good care of yours and continue to pray for Pakistan. Right now, there is flooding and there are a lot of things which are happening. And we need you. We need you to pray about it. We need you to support uh, our ministry, Grace Network. And here is a PayPal link. Really easy for you to donate. PayPal.me slash forward slash uh, Wings of Calvary. And please generously uh, support us right now because we are going tomorrow, day after tomorrow on Sunday uh, morning, early morning by 4 a.m., our teams will be leaving for those flooded areas who are in an urgent need. So we are raising the funds urgently for the lives which are suffering uh, and those who are badly, badly affected with floods and water and, you know, a lot of things are there. So please continue to pray and, and do know again, I love you and I bless you in Jesus' name. Pakistan, Zindabad.